Hey guys, this is Brad again, and uh, I'm going to be talking about series number 11. And this fragrance contains anise, juniper berries, gimlet accord, pepper, cypress, tropical palm wood, Haitian vetiver, musk, and rare blonde woods. And at base notes, we have three positives, one neutral, and zero negatives. Um, so I was really excited to try this one out. Um, I know one of the fragrance bros uh, said he really liked this one, so uh, I really was looking forward to trying this one out, especially because of that uh, anise accord. I think some uh, websites say it's a frozen licorice type smell. Um, when I applied this to my skin, I thought maybe I detected a little bit of licorice and anise in the beginning, but it didn't really last more than maybe a few seconds. So for me, the anise licorice is pretty insignificant in this fragrance, and I wouldn't really even um, focus on that, you know, in terms of like trying this fragrance out. If you're a big fan of licorice and anise, you may, you may not get that. I didn't really get that, so uh, that was a, a really big letdown for me. Basically, what I was getting is uh, the smell of, uh, well, I got the vetiver and plenty of pepper um, pretty much throughout the duration of the fragrance. Now, I think I uh, maybe picked up a little bit on the juniper berry. A little bit of that sweetness came through a little bit, but not much. So for me, it wasn't a very um, great fragrance. It, it kind of came across as generic, uh, very similar to my nose uh, in the line of Mark Jacobs' Bang and Tommy Bahama for men. So pretty much very disappointed, possibly the most disappointing of the fragrance line so far to my nose. So uh, let me just get through some quick uh, thoughts on the scoring. The smell, uh, I mean, I've been through this before with the pepper and the vetiver and the woods. Um, I'm going to say, uh, but for me, uh, a little heavy on the pepper. I'm going to give it about 6 out of 10. I did get a compliment on it. First uh, time I got a compliment while wearing a series was today wearing this series number 11. But uh, I can't help but think that there's better options than this one for a similar smell. So about a 6 out of 10. Versatility. Um, this one kind of came across as kind of um, peppery and woodsy and vetiver like. Um, it is really light. Um, but I think it would definitely be a better choice for cooler weather. So versatility, maybe 6 out of 10. Uniqueness, this is where this fragrance really failed in my opinion. So similar to a lot of other fragrances. Give it about 3 out of 10 for uniqueness. Uh, projection longevity, uh, like most of the other serious fragrances, uh, didn't project real well. Longevity was tricky on the one arm. I'm actually still smelling it at the end of the day, or the end of my shift. The other arm... Can't really smell it at all. So overall, I'm going to say projection and longevity is about a 5 out of 10. So overall, very disappointed with this one. Um, you know, like I said, the price of these serious fragrances is $125 a bottle, and they don't really project that well. Um, and the fact that it just smells so much like a, a standard peppery uh, vetiver or a woodsy smell that I've come across so often before, and, and the fact that that licorice didn't really project at all. To me, I can only give this one about 3 out of 10. So that's my uh, final thoughts on series number 11. Don't think I'm going to be uh, pursuing this one any further. Very disappointing to me. Um, I would definitely say if you're thinking about checking this one out, definitely do your homework. Check out some others in the fragrance uh, world, especially designer ones like D Squared, uh, He Wood, or Rocky Mountain Wood, Jacobs, Mark Jacobs Bang. Tommy Bahama for men, or something sweeter like Gucci Pro M1. This, uh, for the price, I just cannot endorse this one at all, or recommend trying it, really, or see why anybody would want to buy this one. So that's my thoughts. Uh, comment down below if you have any opinions of your own on this one, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the next one, what last one left for me is um, Sirius number 14. Fortunately, I'm not working tomorrow, so that'll probably have to wait until Tuesday or Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.